Um, we're really excited about peer-to-peer -peer learning and learning circles in general because it gives us the uh, opportunity to position the library as an educational force in our community. Um, we're really excited about the idea that a library can really be a space for learning. Um, traditionally, people start learning at home as children with parents teaching them and parents being the first and best teacher. And then you move into a school environment and you learn there. And then after school, you're doing your homework and where's the best place to do your homework with all the answers at the library. And then adults leave school and they really lose that place to learn unless they really go back to school. And so with Learning Circles, you're, it, we're able to offer people the, the space and the opportunity to learn more and be that extra space for learning. And why this model is really unique is that it really uh, empowers learners and develops agency and their ability to direct their own learning. And uh, it's an interesting model to kind of examine and explore because there's so many potentials and possibilities in thinking about ways to shape learning, not around curriculum resources or around a facilitator's goals, but instead to follow the directions that the learner provides in wanting to learn and explore their own uh, understanding of a topic or an area of interest. Learning circles are valuable because it gives people an opportunity to try something new, obviously. And it also is a free way for people to um, enhance their skills. They may be um, not aware of social media opportunities. For example, we've worked um, with a couple of senior centers helping their residents learn how to use Facebook to interact with their grandchildren, for example. And it's a, it's a way to bring people together both in the learning circle space and out in the community. So some of the principles that are really important that connect learning circles to other research-based models of adult education relate to this concept of andragogy. And what that means is the ability to have learners direct their own learning, connect it to real life goals and situations, to set their own goals and follow through on those goals, and to be able to show and explain and explore multiple ways in which they've taken the learning that they have uh, gained and put it into action in different ways. And what's really interesting is that though Learning Circles has some of those similar aims, there's opportunities for really intentional learning around those goals and also some ancillary learning or additional aims like agency, being able to uh, grow your self-confidence and self-efficacy around learning. And uh, in the conversations that I've had this week, many of the facilitators have shared how the process of engaging in a learning circle has really transformed the learner's understanding of what it means to learn in community. And I think that's really powerful.